Hey there, gang. It's Jan Anderson, Northern California voice talent, coming to you with another quick and dirty voiceover recording tip. And this time we're going to be talking about using the Amplify tool in Audacity. And it's essentially, it's just volume control for either uh, changing the volume of a whole file or just a little part or so anything like that. Um, it's probably, it might be called something else, another recording software, but in Audacity, it's called the Amplify tool. And I use that for reducing the, the sound of my breaths. That's how I deal with breaths in Audacity is to just lower the volume of them. And I'll show you how to do that. I'm going to uh, share my screen and record a short sample. All right, here we go. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Wasn't that amazing? I know. Talent. Okay, anyway, now I, I intentionally uh, recorded that at a slow pace so that I could include breaths. Um, so I'm going to show you now, I'm going to go back to sharing the screen and show you how I would use the Amplify tool to reduce the noise or the sound of my breaths between those phrases. Okay, so let's go back to sharing the screen. Okay, here we go. So um, first of all, I'm going to expand this file just so that we can see it. Now, um, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear this. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. Anyway, hopefully you can hear that. But here's what I do. First of all, I'm going to just trim off with my uh, backspace key just a few parts. I'm actually even going to take off this little breath right here. There's a breath right at the beginning, and I'm just going to delete that. Usually it sounds more natural if you um, uh, delete breaths right at the beginning of a piece and then reduce the volume of the breaths uh, in the body of the piece. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this whole part right here. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit so you can see better. Um, this whole part right here between the first and second phrases. Now there's a good breath right there. And then I'm going to go up here to effect to the drop down menu, amplify. And I found that reducing my breaths by minus 12.5 dB. I don't know why I chose 12.5 that just seems to be the, the, a good place for me to start. And then I hit OK. And then as you can see, the, in the waveform, it's gone. But you can still hear it. Lamb. It's fleet. I'm not sure if you could hear that, but it's still there. The breath is still present, but um, it is gone. Um, or, or excuse me, it is much more manageable. So I'm going to do the same thing here and the same thing here because there is a breath. It's just not visible in the waveform, but I'm going to go ahead and hit it there too. Now, I also hit the uh, tail end and the top end of my file with the Amplify tool just to get rid of any extraneous noise um, that uh, in, into, in the uh, lead up to the voiceover and also at the tail end. So anyway, here is the file now. Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. Now, obviously, it's an astonishingly good voiceover. So try not to be distracted by that. I know. Big time talent here. But the point is that it's pretty easy to reduce the, the sound of your breaths by simply using the Amplify tool. And I was also using a keyboard shortcut to repeat that effect so that I didn't, wouldn't have to go up to um, effect and drop down to amplify and reset it for every time I wanted to use it. And I'll talk about keyboard shortcuts in another video. Anyway, that was just a quick and dirty um, uh, little tutorial about using the Amplify tool in Audacity. I hope if you found it helpful. And this can translate to all other recording software. So it's, it just might be a little bit different um, depending on, upon the platform of that software, but the idea is the same. So anyway, lower those breaths. Don't get rid of them because after all, people breathe and that sounds natural. Um, and I'll also talk about using room tone as opposed to silence in another video. Okay, so stay tuned for more. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you later.